Hello, Advanced Word Weekly Revision Exercises continued. Um, now we're in Section 6 and we're dealing with referencing and this is a question about footnotes and endnotes. So question 14 is asking us to uh, use the discovery file, uh, create a footnote after tomb in the third paragraph with the footnote number 1 and add the following text, evidence was found of early grave robbers. Um, any queries or guidance needed, please refer to the manual, uh, page 62. So let's do this one. So using the weekly revision um, work files, we're going to double click on discovery and open that up. And it's asked us to um, place a footnote um, after the word tomb in the third paragraph. Quite easy to find in this circumstance but if you do find it difficult to find something a word in uh, the exam use the find feature and type in the word that you're trying to find and then when you do that they all light up so place the cursor where we're going to put the um, footnote I'll just close that down so there it's ready so into the references tab and while we're in here be aware of how many automated features there are in here that we are going to use learning the advanced word. So you can see all of these different things are all here and they're all things that we will be using. In this circumstance we're going to insert a footnote. So it puts a reference number down here and you can see the little reference note there. So in here I'm going to type evidence Um, was found of early grave robbers. Okay, and just fix it if I've made any spelling mistakes because remember in the test you want to make everything perfect. And then that would be the task done and I'd go on to save or something else. But whilst we're here, let's just have a little look at something to be aware of. If you delete text in a footnote or a note, then it will not delete the reference here. So in order to get rid of it completely, so if I do that, you can see that the reference is still there. And you would do that if you were changing the text on that same reference. But if I wanted to get rid of it completely, what I need to do is go to the reference number and actually delete that. And then you can see that it's then gone. So just be aware of that when you're doing uh, endnotes and footnotes. Okay, so that's that question. I'm going to move on if you want to move on with me on to the next one.